Hey there, everybody. In this uh, activity, you are going to use math or a Google spreadsheet to uh, solve the deflection of different pieces of material. For example, we've got a two by four, then we rotate it to a four by two, two by 10, four by uh, two by four by eight. And then also in column E, you can do whatever you want. Okay. You will need to know the material type and the elasticity. So for example, we've got a piece of two by four behind me that I'll show you in a little bit uh, that the elasticity is here um, and an ABS plastic. And then you can use this MatWeb web link right up here to find whatever material that you want to, um, to find. Or you could do like a different dimension of a pine wood um, two by. All right, let's jump in and just start letting Google Sheets do the math for us. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is on this two by four, we are encouraged students to take a tape measure and measure the two by four because, as many of us know, a two by four is not actually two inches by four inches. So in this case, we are going to put the correct measurements, the actual measurements on here. Um, and then we have the two by four is actually rotated so that um, we have the base is um, in one is one and a half or three and a half. Okay, the area, we can use the formula for area, which is simply you type in equals base times height. And you can, um, when you use the times, you wanna use the asterisk or the shift eight button and then go ahead and hit enter. And the inertia formula is right here. So you can go equals and uh, do the open parentheses, base times height with a caret, which is a uh, shift six cubed or to the third power divided by 12 and go ahead and hit enter on that. And then the length on the board that's behind me is eight feet long. We want to convert that to inches. So I'm going to hit equals 12 times eight. And then the last, uh, we want to measure the deflection. So we're going to go here and type equals open parentheses, the force, which I'm going to click here is 250 pounds in this instance. Um, and you don't want to type in 250 because we want the cells to be able to change and therefore the inertia might change or the deflection might change depending on kind of where you're changing the numbers at. So, um, sorry to back up. Deflection equals force times length here to the third power. So caret three, close parentheses divide by 48, oh wait, I'm sorry, back up. We need another parentheses, 48 times inertia, which is E, this number right here, time, oh, I'm sorry, elasticity is E, duh. And then um, times inertia here, and then close parentheses and hit enter and you get a number. So if I were to step on uh, a two, I'm sorry, if a 250 pound load would step on the board, it would get us to half of an inch. Now, you can take this uh, first formula here for area and grab this smart corner and drag it to the right. Um, you can take this second formula that we uh, solved in row eight for the uh, inertia and drag it to the right. And then uh, you can take the length and drag that to the right because we're, we're actually just doing... Um, eight foot boards. And then you can take the deflection and drag this to the right. So um, in this case, we have the two by four laying down um, with the three and a half inches here. And if a student who happened to be 170 pounds, you can see when I change this 170 and I hit enter, that it will change here. Um, and a student that, that weighs about 170 pounds, the, the board will bend down. We've got a ruler on here and they step on it and they can measure the distance. And I like to keep, I like to keep a chair next to them just to help balance. And you can see there's this way. 
We can also take this ruler off and put it on the other side and measure it this way. You gotta be really careful. Probably should put some braces on the side so it doesn't flex on them or bend on them. And you can see that that is uh, quite different. All right, let me come back to the TV or, yeah. All right, and just to prove uh, a student that was 170 pounds, the starting height of the ruler was five and a quarter. And then when they stood on it, it bent down to 7.375. And we got a difference of 2.125, which is really darn close to this deflection. So this is math happening in action uh, and it makes it a little bit more fun. So um, if you have some two by fours laying around, you can do that. If your two by fours aren't eight feet long, um, you can just simply change this um, the length here. Um, and then so students can go through and you can solve the rest of them. And um, you can obviously, you can change uh, these to whatever your ruler says. All right. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know. Again, you're going to um, complete column C, column D, and uh, column E with whatever you want. And then you can also change these to, you know, whatever you might weigh um, to see what math happens and, and how much it would deflect. And you can also see mathematically why um, floor joists go the direction they do. A lot of floor joists are two, two by tens, two by twelves, and with simple math with this calculator, you'll be able to see that. All right. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.